You invented a machine. Paper bills get dropped in. Seeds dispense from the top. The local crows quickly discovered the wondrous vending machine and you've been getting an easy 500 a week in passive income. The police haven't caught on yet, but today there was 500k in the machine. Driving home from work, my mind was racing. Nancy needed the proposals done by midnight, and of course I hadn't started them yet. Turning the corner to my home, the trees were speckled black, vibrating with the gurgling cries of the local crows. At the sight of the birds, my heart calms down. They're so smart. I've always wanted to train a crow to speak. They have such an incredible ability to imitate sounds. It delights me to see that they've been staying around the apartment I'm renting off at the edge of the development area, though it does make sense. After all, I have been feeding them for the past few months. At first I had the bird feeders, hoping they might stick around and I could hear some of the sounds they've picked up. Soon they were at my doorstep with heads cocked like a dog begging for more food. I decided to make games for them to be able to get more food. Roll a ball down a hole and food will dispense. That was too easy for them. At some point I installed a coin dispenser from a broken childhood piggy bank with a slot horizontal to see if they would figure out how to flip a coin vertical for it to fit. That was fun to watch. I couldn't figure out where all the gold dollars were coming from, though. Last week, the office won a new vending machine from the prize lottery from corporate, so I told the guys hauling it outside I'd give them each 20 bucks to put it in my car and save them a trip to the dump. Standard policy is that if it gets replaced, it is trash, even if it works. They said sure. Opened it up, hit the reset button, showed me how to change the price values, handed me the key, and I took it home. The next morning I heard that familiar pot chink of a coin landing in the receptacle, and decided, oh hell, I'll make this thing a bird feeder too. It was Saturday I had the day off. Let's make this my project instead of doing the proposals. I went off and bought big bags of bird seed, separated them into spillable pouches and filled up the machine. I had to put a spring and a motor on the door and make a trough for the seed to fall, but it all looked good. While I worked, I listened to the crows cawing at me, playing with the other prototypes, and enjoying the rewards. Today, running inside, mostly thinking about how screwed I am for working on another silly bird feeder instead of doing my actual work, I was dumbfounded by the sight of my porch. There were green leaves stuffed in piles around the vending machine. It grew dark outside. For a moment, I cursed the crows under my breath for making such a mess. I set up my laptop, got my briefing out, and finally got to work. But the sound was irritating. The cacophony outside grew. The light only came in through the door of the porch in sputters now. I looked back at the door. The crows had been scratching outside, tapping and pecking for too long now. The leaves had built up even further now, enough to make them spill in as I opened the door to see for myself what all of the commotion could possibly be. A moment of epiphany as the breeze rolled over my ears and into my hair. The crows are pissed they didn't get their dinner and had to resort to the games alone. Looking down at the leaves, I start to see faces, numbers, serial codes. I was looking at money, cash. More cash than I've ever seen in my life. And here it is, just laying at my doorstep, blowing away in the wind while I work on this dumb proposed marketing strategy for a Baby Shark ASMR toy that I couldn't be more horrified to have my name associated with. My mind was a blur. I was still so angry, yet so elated by the sight. A fully paid vacation to France at my doorstep. Fuck you, Nancy, and your hair. Stupid hair. The crows were more deafening now than my inner screams about Nancy's recent choice of hairstyle. Spiraling through the air, sitting on tree branches, on the deck, on my roof. All staring at me, gurgled caws airily resonating in the evening sun. Quickly I grabbed the bags of bird seed and trudged through the pile of cash to feed what I have now concluded to be the best financial decision of my life. If they could keep the cash in the machine, though, I would highly appreciate it. I circled around the yard, filling the bird feeders and the games. The feeding frenzy would have been gruesome if there were meat. For me, it felt more like a picnic. A panicked frenzy where the kids all run to get pizza at the same time. One of them just shoved three pieces down the hatch, and one of them is crying because he tripped and hurt his knee. I got to just sit back and watch, my elation now firmly shining behind my eyeballs. 
A huge grin scrolled across my face as I made my way back to the vending machine. Surely they must have figured out the vending machine, there's all this cash. Now that the birds were settled I went ahead and swept all of the money inside, my eyeballs flittering between the pile of crumpled up cash and the near empty vending machine. All of the items select keys were scratched up. Well that makes sense, they have to use their beaks to press the buttons standing on the perch like that. The perch itself looked like it was once a cat's favorite scratch board. I dropped the broom. My heart was fluttering. I couldn't take the anticipation any longer. I pulled out the key and opened the door. The change drawer was full, it was to be expected. That was one of the first things I taught the crows. Pulling out the cash drawer. There's a hundred dollar bill on top, in pristine condition if not for a triangular crease on one side. Flipping through, I find that the entire stack is all hundreds, all in perfect condition. These devils must have robbed a bank today for some snacks. People have done so for less, I guess. I realized that the pile on the ground was probably bills that the machine wouldn't accept, so the crows went off to find another bill that might work, leaving the old one on the ground right next to my porch door. They found crisp bills all right. Hell, the serial numbers were more or less in order. These bastards are really going to get me thrown in prison. That or make me incredibly wealthy. The anxiety sets in and I can feel my heart in my throat pounding in my ears. How am I ever going to explain this to the police?